everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video I am going to be doing an if you like this then you'll like this video. It is a series of videos I have on my channel where I basically recommend you novels by comparing them to novels that you may have heard of before. So I've got some books that aren't known very well in the booktube community and I've got some books that are really really well known in the booktube community. So I'm going to use them and recommend some books for you. Everybody knows Bella and Edward and everybody is in love with their love story and I have a book for you which I can compare to Twilight series not for the fact that it's got vampires in but for that love for that romance now the book I'm going to be recommending the romance isn't as cliche if you must if I can say it's cliche the romance in this is much easier to read it's much more believable and I really really enjoyed it and the book I'm talking about is Creature by Nellie Cab. So Creature by Nellie Cab is all about this character who she can control her dreams. Um, she's broke, she's just recently broken up with her boyfriend who kind of left her in a really mean way and she no longer has these control over her dreams and even where dreams they used to be her like safe haven where she could go to. Now they are plagued by this monstrous beast uh, and the monstrous beast turns out not to be as Eva, she thought as, as she, he threatens her in the dream, saying that I can I can find you, you know I, I can always I am real I can get to you. And basically, she goes to school next day, and this new boy starts, and the no, new boy comes up to her, and he says, "I told you I could always get to you." And it's about the fact that there's kind of got gods in here. They're immortals, but they're very similar to your Roman e Greek gods, which are really really awesome. And also the main character in this, she is different, she's not just like any other human and you've got to read the story to find out why. But it's a really interesting about an immortal falling in love with a mortal and what he would do for her and vice versa. I thought it was a really interesting read. I actually read this in one sitting and I really really enjoyed it so definitely check out Creature by Nelly Cap. It's fantastic and it's free to download on Kindle so why not go and download it? Everybody loves some Greek gods, some Norse gods and some Roman and Egyptian gods. Well Rick Ryden recently brought out this book Mangus Chase and the Sword of Summer by Rick Ryden and this is all about Norse mythology. Now I've got a book to recommend to you guys which is a bit of a new adult book so it's not a middle grade YA like this one but it is all about Norse gods and the book I'm going to be recommending is Elska, book one in the Elska saga by S.T. Bende. This is about Krista who is just like us really, she prefers book clubs to nightclubs, she prefers El Grey tea to vodka, um, but she moves to a university and she meets somebody. A new boyfriend, this boy that she kind of falls for, isn't just like any other person really. He's actually a Norse god and is an assassin for the Norse gods. Um, he's immortal and she's kind of thrown into this world of mythology and Norse gods and powers and magic and steamy romance set in a university in England. So she's gone from having this really plain ordinary life to something which is very less orderly and really, uh, you know, unique. So if you like the idea of reading about a girl falling in love with a Greek, uh, a girl falling in love with a Norse god, then you would really like Elska by S.T. Vende. It is a fantastic read and I suggest you all go and pick it up. And last but not least, everybody knows about the Lord of the Rings series by J.R.R. Tolkien. And I have a series for you which isn't comparable as in storyline, but it's comparable in the way that you can fall into the world and get engrossed in the characters and it's such a detailed descriptive world and that is The Whispers of the Fallen by J.D. Neto. This is book one in the series. The second one is Re Whispers of the Fallen Rebellion and the third is Whispers of the Fallen Gathering of Shadows and yeah this book is there's so many twists and turns and characters and the setting is really beautiful in this epic fantasy world that is very comparable to The Lord of the Rings in that aspect of being able to fall for loads of different characters and different storylines and a really intriguing and detailed plot line with just really visual aspects to the whole novel. It's a really, really interesting read and I highly recommend it. And we are reading it this month for Read With Ben, so if you haven't already, go get your copy of The Whispers of the Fallen by J.D. Neto and go check out the Read With Ben Instagram page down below as well for daily updates about our reading experience. So I will leave all the Goodreads pages down below for these novels, so definitely go and check them out. And thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna check any of these books out. And I will see you again in another video. Bye-bye.